As schools roll out digital courseware initiatives, one important issue to address is the pedagogical impact of having increased visibility into student learning. What are the experiences of instructors and researchers? And what are the implications on application of learning sciences? At the Realize It Users Conference this past fall, we had the chance to interview leaders from two research universities tackling this challenge, the University of Mississippi and the University of Central Florida. In interviews for our previous episode, we heard an interesting comment about visibility being as important as specific content or learning outcomes. We will get so much more data from the adaptive system about how they work, what they're good at, where they're struggling, what their study habits are, that that data can then drive us to be able to support them so much more effectively. Do universities with more traditional student populations see similar benefits? I personally went adaptive with my ethics course because the enrollments kept going up and ethics by design, or at least it seemed to me, should be a discussion course. I made the course of the, the class size smaller so they would discuss and then all the content got pushed to the courseware which was excellent because then it helped me flip the class and get back to the, the team-based cooperative learning methodology that I had been trained to do as a high school teacher. Patty first tried flipping the class through the campus LMS before trying a courseware approach. What I didn't like is that I couldn't see if they were actually doing the readings, watching the videos. And so with adaptive courseware, I can quiz them after every node, every lesson node, which is about 10 to 15 minutes of, of learning. UCF has an active research program looking at data from their use of adaptive courseware, and they recently finished early pilot programs. Faculty who do this are really energized by it because the interesting thing about it from the pilot study is you really have to think about your course. Yeah. I mean, adaptive learning forces you to granularize your course in a way that makes sense. And for the first time, a lot of faculty have done that. And, and faculty are now able to interact with their students in a way that they've never had to, been able to do before. That is something that faculty like about adaptive right. learning, though, is the, the amount of data that they get on students mm -hmm. that they're not used to getting, even more so than what's in the yeah. LMS. They, they can see at a very granular level who knows what if the course has been well designed. Um, and they, they really like that because it allows them to focus where they, they're most Absolutely. needed. The usage of this type of courseware has implications with regards to changing pedagogy. What do educators need to understand to be successful in adopting new approaches? So they need to know what the tools are, how they work, how they're going to add value to the course, and their ability to manage the course, and the students' ability to navigate through the course and be more successful. Hopefully we can get to a place where they'll have used these tools for a semester and then we can talk about the learning science. So, you know, if your students are doing better because they're using these tools, what do you think it is about that? And, and then start talking about the learning science. You don't have to do your whole course. Let's just start with a module. Get yourself comfortable with it. Let's, you know, eat the apple right. one bite yeah. at a time. And then once you do it, um, don't expect to change the world the first semester. Nobody's awesome at something the first time they try it. It's going to take a few iterations, right. and based upon talking to colleagues at other institutions, we've heard like about three semesters is a, is a reasonable time to expect you to start getting in the groove and actually making an impact. What we've learned from the pilot study, and I will say this, if you can do something for faculty that make them feel like they're doing a better job teaching, they will follow you anywhere. The faculty in the pilot study have been able to see simultaneously that students in a wide range of initial ability levels have the ability to succeed. And that makes them feel like better teachers. They can monitor, students can monitor. That whole genre is we're making you and helping you become a better teacher. And it really has a positive effect on our self-concept as an instructor. These experiences highlight how schools that are considering the adoption of digital courseware would do well to focus less on adaptive content and more on the new levels of visibility provided to faculty and students and researchers. 
This visibility opens up the broader issue of encouraging educators to pay more attention to student learning outcomes and eventually to better understand learning science in more depth. Mm -hmm.